she doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, yes, I have. Mm, it wasn't the worst. Um, it wasn't the worst. Uh, there's that's a really good location. Yeah, I have rang there in the past. I didn't do any work there last year. And I don't think I did any the year before, but I have rang there in the past. It's a good location. Yeah. But, uh, uh, another really good one is Fourth and Oak. Uh, the Rosars there. Um, if you could actually work the shifting so that uh, um, our shift basically has the height of the d of the uh, dinner rush right in the middle of our shift. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. Uh, yeah, I like Fred Myers a lot, but, you know, uh, I, I, so obviously that's going to be at the top of my list, but I also like uh, any of the Walmarts with the exception of um, uh, of uh, Shadle's not that bad, but I'd rather have one ringer there if uh, if we're going to do Shadle Walmart. Uh, we don't need, yeah, but look how close in proximity they are, and they'll end up canceling each other out. So, uh, in light of that, I, I would say no Shadle and no uh, 5025 East Sprague. Those are not the best locations, uh, Walmart locations to ring at, but all the others, um, yep, go for it. You know what? We could do well to add Winco, possibly, uh, on Sprague. Don't add the one up, but uh, because you don't want bell ringers too close to each other, to each other like that, because they'll end up uh, canceling each other out. Basically, one will end up draining the other one nearby, or vice versa. So, so uh, if you're going to do Winco, have it be the Winco on Sprague. Yeah, the one, the Winco out there on Sprague. I'd also like to see us get. Uh, um, J yeah, that J.C. Penney's up on uh, Division there. That's a good location. That's a good location. Yeah, like mall stores. Yeah, like mall stores. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Kmart really doesn't. Well, K the, I don't know if they're. I don't know if they're still open out there. I, uh, I know that they're downsizing quite a bit. Sears, yeah, Sears, Sears Roebuck Corporation owns Kmart. They own Kmart, yeah. So that people, so that people can't uh, dart behind me, and I've been doing that, and it has totally eliminated any problems. So, yes, yes. So that was a few years ago. Yes, I did. Well, because they realized it was an accident. I, yes, I did. I did. I would. I told the straight up truth. Uh, you know, but I, uh, but at the same time, the customer also bears some liability there for not watching where they're going. So it's so it's fifty fifty liability. Fifty fifty liability because uh, uh, the customer has the duty of care to make sure that they are watching where they're going, and if they're a disabled uh, or elderly customer that has uh, an aide with them or, or a relative that's guiding them, that relative also shares some of the responsibility to make sure that uh, that uh, that uh, their disabled or elderly loved one uh, doesn't collide. With it. But at the same time, the bell ringer also has some uh, would also have some liability here too. Or actually, it would be in this case the Salvation Army itself uh, would be under the doctrine of respondeat superior, or let the or let the boss answer. That means let the boss answer. That's what uh, superior respondeat is: is let the boss answer. Correct. Then you would be liable for, for that person's uh, injuries because I was acting within the scope and the training of my employment. So, right. I'm. I've thought about it. Uh, it's uh, maybe it's worth considering getting what's called an umbrella policy, which would cover stuff like that. So that way, uh, uh, that way, uh, you would not. Uh, No, no, when courts are not, uh, yes. Yeah, so you need to, uh, yeah, yeah, hear that? No 
lots of brakes coming out. Not very much. Yeah, brakes on this one cost very much. You can hear it there when I step on it. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know if I would... Uh, I think they replaced his rotors, too. Rotors are, on this are not very much. They're about... Uh, for both sides, I can get both sides for less than 80 bucks, brand new. So about 150, 160 bucks is what we're looking at. Yeah. Yeah, I probably will. I probably will just go ahead and replace the rotors on this. I'll just replace them. Uh, when I do the uh, brakes, I'll flush the brakes at the same time. I'll take it into a shop and have it flushed. Another broken sprinkler head. Yep. yep. The sprinkler head's destroyed. Yep. Yeah. And it, yep, it sure does. Why does that? No, that wasn't me. No, it wasn't. Yes, we do. We do have enough. Uh... Yeah, you need to start carrying that with you. Remember to grab that every time you leave. Okay. Okay. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so go yes I do want to lock it yes we do we do lock it yes we do yes we do lock it okay it's locked good okay 